Good morning guys, welcome back to our channel. I was gonna start, wait for a slightly more aesthetic start to today's vlog, cause I am looking like a hot mess, just rolled out of bed, but I have to show you actually, oh gosh, I need to flip that. Oh no, is it gonna be my first burnt pancake guys? Oh no, she's fine. Um, we are making pancakes this morning. This is the best pancake recipe guys. I am not a good cook, as you know, and this is like a foolproof recipe so good and we make it all the time um, and Amber's got her pepper pig oh you're putting some sprinkles on lovely Amber's got her pepper pig um, pancakes uh, so we just make a pancake then we cut them up into different shapes oh, don't, don't forget to put your oh <laughs> guys I gotta go there we go guys oh yeah that's a good pretend to syrup oh that's nice is that yummy Mm. Thank you, Mary. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having breakfast with me. Thank you, Mabel. <laughs> Is that Mabel? Thank you, Mummy. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Mummy. Thank you, thank you. You are so welcome. Look, Mike, we put the sprinkles on them. Oh, they? Oh, dear. <clears throat> I got an idea. Oh, yeah. Let's make a loud shout and see right. if Daddy's come. <laughs> That's a good idea. Hey, Mabel, you got raspberry on your face. Ah, oh, you going to bed? You going to bed? Um, night night. Mummy, is Daddy in bed? Yeah, he's sleeping. He's having his lion today because Mummy usually has one, doesn't she? Hey, let's make a loud shout and make Daddy up. Shall we wake him up? <laughs> we make Daddy a cup of tea and then go and wake him up. Bridgewater and James has his one as well. What's daddy's got on there? She's playing with the magnets in the fridge. These have been a hit, haven't they? We've got these little, like little dish sent us the cutest little magnets with this little package, like care package of, not care package, but you know, like a little hamper of things, including that cookbook actually, the one we just made pancakes out of. Um, we love little dish meals, they have like microwavable meals and stuff, but uh, yeah, they've got the cutest little magnets. And you can make like a bowl, can't you, of food? Oh yeah, and we also have these new magnets, guys, which my parents got me ages ago, and I refound them when we were organising stuff for the house. Um, <clears throat> and it's like, that's me and my sister and my mum when we were younger. Who's that, Amber? Ella. Oh yeah, Ella, my sister, and that is? Nani. Nani! So yeah, we've been doing an absolutely, like, mammoth sort out of this house, guys. Wow. That is pretty much all we've been up to since the last vlog. Our life has been hectic. We are moving house and we think it's going to be, because last thing I updated you on was the fact, sorry about the steam. Whoa, it's getting hot in here, guys. The chain's now complete. We're just waiting for a date that everyone can move. Um, so that's what we're doing at the moment. Guys, I don't even think I can vlog anymore with this hair. Mine is so set out. At least even Carrie, scrape it back into a tight pony. It would be more presentable. Ooh, was that, that someone banging at the door? <gasps> someone at the door? You're playing your piano. That's nice. She just gets up onto things. Like, how does she even get up on that? <laughs> this is pretty much sums up the girls playing in here. Every time Mabel gets down off her, she climbs straight back on. What are you doing on there, Tiki? You play shop lady. That's lovely playing, Amber. What's in there? Okay. This is our life, guys, at the moment. <laughs> James just got rudely awakened by us and now we're making cups of tea for everyone and we're gonna just chill. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. 
<laughs> bye bye. Amber's just gone with my mum. They're going to the museum. Bye bye. So we just stand at the window saying bye bye. Wow. Um, so Amber has gone for a little museum trip with my mum. Um, my mum's taken us to the museum and they've gone on the bus, I think. And they're just having a little fun trip out. Um, we are going to walk the dog. Um, me, James and Mabel uh, take Mila on a nice walk. So that's pretty much going to be our morning. And then Amber's spending the day with my mum today and we are not working because we are going to be prepping because usually um, we have the days where she goes to our parents and we get like all our filming done, all our editing, all our work bits but today we have like compiled our worky stuff into two days instead of three so we can spend basically all day um, prepping for Amber's birthday tomorrow. Like her first birthday we had like a balloon set up and um, food and everything set up and it all just came um which was so nice and like easy but i thought let's do it i can do it myself this time guys i can do it myself this year so um i it's not gonna be anywhere near as professional but i'm gonna enjoy it and that's the main thing i actually really enjoy doing like um setups and stuff so um, I'm basically going to do her balloon setup, which she picked it with me and it is such a cute one. Um, it's got like flower balloons or like these flower things, all these tassels. Um, so we're going to do that this afternoon and we have like one of those signs like we have for Mabel arriving, which she was so excited because it's going to have her and Elsa on it, <laughs> which she loves. Um, and then like wrap all the presents, put them together. I always like order these things and then they need to be built and it takes me like three hours. So that's basically our whole day for day is like prepping and then I think I'm gonna set up the lounge um, with her little balloons and bits and bobs and then um, she knows she can't go in the lounge then until tomorrow. So I'm so excited, I can't believe she's turning three. I can't believe Mabel's a year already. Like it's just going so fast but also like for any of you that have followed me since having Amber three years ago, like it also feels like a lifetime ago that I was pregnant and that, I don't know, it's just, yeah, it's just a lot. So a lot's gone on, but also it feels like yesterday, you know, it's one of those, I feel like, I feel like I was saying this in the last vlog that that is just how life always feels now. Um, right, next thing I'm gonna do, just to make myself put a little bit more put together, you know, I was telling you I'm obsessed with these lip stains. I got a new colour which I love even more um, and I just want to feel, because it's pouring with rain, I'm not even going to attempt to get more ready than this. I just literally love them guys, I love them so much and I had my brows done a little while ago now. Um, <clears throat> I had, what did I, I can't remember what I had done, whether I had like HD or lamination or something but I'm loving them, they make me feel put together as well. And then, oh, I should actually put my SPF on even though it's raining, so I might chuck a bit of this on. And we're ready to go. Dog walking in the rain. Aya. Aya. That's lovely. Aya. <laughs> um, so we were going to get ready to go on the dog walk. We were ready to go, but that's raspberry on her face, by the way. Um, but we actually think Mabel's teething. And when she's teething, she gets really overtired. So this would usually work Hello. timing. Hiya. Hiya. This would usually work. You seem Hello. happy now. You seem absolutely fine now. <laughs> Why is that kids for you? One minute you're literally like, Hello. oh no, this is gonna be, you know, tears all day, we're teething bad. Next minute. Hiya. Hiya. Hiya, love. <laughs> Where you going? Um, so yes, we, She's literally going to need to go down any second for her nap. So maybe dog walk later. Maybe dog walk later. Maybe dog walk later when you wake up, see? And maybe I'll start Amber's balloons and surprise you with them. Ready? One, two, three, jump! She's so cute. Wow. Maybe we'll do it. Yay! That's so cool. Whoa! Super speed! Clapping! Yay! It's perfect! You're so sweet. Okay, so this is where 
Ignore that toy going off in the background in the playroom. I don't know if you can hear that or not. What are you looking for, Mabes? This is where we did Mabel's little birthday setup and then had the armchair over there with like a little, uh, a little kind of like present setup and stuff. And Amber loved that and she couldn't wait for her one for her birthday. So we're going to do the same. Um, but this is the, this is the balloon arch that Amber is very excited for. And then, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting, guys. I did notice when I looked in here the other day that they've even gone as far as putting like a balloon inside a balloon to make it like that yellow inside the orange will make it a slightly brighter orange. Oh, hello. What have you got there? Yeah, are you gonna help me? We got balloons. Balloons. You wanna have one? Ah! Ah! Wow, look at that! Massive! Probably gonna be bigger than that. Wow! Babies have no like for like the pop, the poppingness of a balloon. So they just grab it, bite it, throw it. These honestly seem to be so sturdy. Oh, hello. Good morning. Nice of you to join us. I know. I was straight into doing work. I know, but it's meant to be our day off. It is. Well, Building balloon arches. Balloon Can't arches. you wait? So important. Oh no, there seems to be so much work for you to do now. Uh, oh no, I have to go <laughs> and do more work. I can't blow up balloons. Emergency. <laughs> Mabel's literally just <laughs> sitting on them. Hello, yes. Oh, that's a nice kettle. Thank you. Oh. Night, night. Are you going to be in sleep suit all day? It's uh, one of those days? I know. It one is of one of those days. days. Yeah. Yeah, Daddy. Yeah, Daddy. I'm teething one minute and then very happy the next. Yeah. She's a roller coaster today. Yeah. You still got Raspberry on your face too. Yeah. She does. I was very concerned. <laughs> Looks like warriors. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what does it look like? I didn't know whether I was more worried to be in makeup or uh, yeah. Or blood. <laughs> I know. You would never know with Mabel, the adventure child. James is actually emailing about house stuff at the moment because I think I started talking earlier about it. Um, I know it's just been like such a roller coaster so far. You want to read that? Mabel. Yeah? To Mabel? You want to sit on my lap? And then. But I've been saying to you guys, I've been actually trying not to think about it because I get so emotionally invested in like where we're going to live and like talking to the girls about it and stuff. And I've been trying for so long, but I thought we were like really right close to the end and we are meant to be. But then when you hear that like the chain isn't actually moving in as quick because people haven't even like, I don't know, I just have a bad feeling that it's going to fall through. I just have a bad feeling guys. I think I have that bad feeling because I love the house so much that we yeah, do you want to read it again? Again! Sit on my lap, mama. So yeah, I'm feeling a little bit on edge at the moment with the whole thing. I have, you know when you're like just waiting for that email where they say like, oh, actually like not gonna happen not gonna happen we've like literally organized the whole house gotten the skip like had everything like all the broken stuff removed from the house like we're ready to go we've had all the quotes for the removals so i can't even think about it not going ahead now because it's just like <gasps> but um things can fall apart literally right on the day that people are moving house if you know yeah, but some people do exchange and complete on the same day. Yeah, we ain't doing that. We're not doing that. not doing that. No! So that's how far we've gotten with the balloons. Mabel's just gone down for her nap. We are cooking a Hello Fresh for lunch. We're cooking. Because of Amber's birthday stuff, we had like spare Hello Fresh meals. Yeah! Got spare Hello Fresh meals. For lunch. So having like a proper nice, like, homey dinner vibe for lunch, which 
I am not complaining about that's my favourite type of lunch. I'm all up for big lunches. Yeah, we I love. love a big lunch. I mean, we love a big, big lunch, big dinner, big breakfast. That's let's be honest. I was going to say, I'd much rather have like a big lunch and then a sandwich for dinner. Yeah. But then I'll just. Eat no. Dinner. Yeah. Sandwiches we are gonna cut we will literally have one of these for lunch and one of these for dinner. Yeah. Um, yeah. which one are we going for? We're doing this one today, which looks unreal. Where's Amber's favourite one? Amber loves the like sausage she loves one. Sausages. Yeah, she loves it. But um, I do too. Right. They are oh, so, so good. This honey kind of mustard sausages. They're incredible. So had a Hello Fresh lunch. I actually got distracted doing some editing that I forgot that I needed to do. Um, so I haven't actually got any further with Amber's balloons. Mabel is still napping. She's having a mammoth nap. Yeah, it's so I know. She's We're gonna go. It's sunny as well right now, so I really want to go out on the dog walk while it's so nice and sunny. We really need to mow the lawn as well. But. I know, she'll like stir and then we'll be like, oh, she's probably going to wake soon. She'll do another hour sleep. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's been a tired, I think, teething girl today. So we're just going to let her sleep for as long as she needs. And then going to go out on the dog walk. I'm going to carry on now with Amber's balloons. Guys, I've really gotten into reading lately. I say that for me, like reading any pages of any book is like, wow, my whole family's like, you're reading. My friend's like, you're reading? I don't read, I am not a reader. My dyslexia, it, I'm a slow reader because of my dyslexia and I also just don't enjoy it. Um, but I feel like my brain just works in very different ways to reading. I just don't, you know. Anyway, but I, when I get into a good book, I really, really enjoy it. This book, so I don't even think this is out yet. But they very kindly sent us this book. I had no idea what it was about. Um, I think it was the publisher that sent it to us. And we were like, yeah, sure, we'll try it. Like, James loves reading. James's mum literally and James can read a book in, like, a day. It's just bonkers. To me, anyway, that's just bonkers. Cool. Didn't even think I would pick it up and read it. I did. I thought, actually, this sounds intriguing to me. It's So the concept was that, well, on the front, it says, the husbands, you wait ages for one, then 203 come along come along at once. I was like, oh, this is a bit different. So I started it. Guys, look how far in I am. And I'm not saying that happened in a day. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. That's taken me a while, but I love it. And I've, it's like reminded me how good of an escapism reading can be. So if you are like me and you haven't read in a while, try it, pick up a book. I just read a couple of pages per day. And it honestly like, helps me after a long busy day, whether it be stress from the girls, stress from work, just like escape into my book, just for 10 pages until I'm like, <sighs> literally I read and my brain switches off and I go like, I'm asleep after like five pages. Um, but I love that. I love, love, love it. So that's my excitement about books lately. Okay, I'm gonna go and do as many more balloons on that balloon. I think she's away. Hello, oh. I think she's getting there. I'm probably gonna get one balloon on that then and then we're gonna go on a dog walk. Hello, hello, up, are you saying I'm up, where are you putting your blankie, uh oh, blankie. what, blankie, blankie. <laughs> this is literally your favourite thing to do guys, is just drop things, blankie, blankie. where's he gone, where's blankie, there it is, yay! Oh, you're so cute. You are so cute. There she is. <laughs> what can you see? Baby. You can see a baby. Where? Oh, yeah, in that photo. You can. Come sit on the stairs. Come on. <laughs> she sees Amber sitting on the step all the time when she's putting her shoes on. So she'll go and get her shoes and she just sit on the step. Like this. Oh my god, it breaks our heart. Should we put them on? Should we get ready? Is your coat? <gasps> You're gonna get ready to go on a walk? Ooh! Yes, yeah, you are! <laughs> no! You're gonna sit on the step for me? Sit by there. Oh, she breaks. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> my heart's melting, guys. And. <laughs> Come on, Daddy! Oh, <laughs> look who's ready! <laughs> You're so cute. I know. You're so cute. Uh, oh, she's clapping. Oh, she's in a clapping mood. 
today. We're out on a stroll. Mila's going in and out the river. The sun is out. The wind is windying. It looks a smile like on my face. <laughs> Okay. The sun is out, so we are happy, especially James. The sad is melting away. My favourite time of the year. Summer! My, favorite. my most favourite. The bestest time of the year. The bestest favouritest. Yes, it's summer. It's going to be so nice having oh, sunnier days. Oh, honestly, it's so sunny. It feels like it should be very hot, but actually it's quite chilly and windy it's still. It's quite chilly, especially with the um, wind, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the blossoms are out! Cherry, is that a cherry blossom or does it? No, let's go for it, Cass. Let's it's go for it. really beautiful. My God, I, knowledge. They last about one week, I think, they and then do. all the leaves blow off. But I'm here for it. The one week of beauty. We've got one in our garden. I wonder I know. what's going to bloom. They bloom. They're so they gorgeous. Do. Oh, look, there's one over there. Hello, Maple Moo. Hello, in there. Hello. Sending you eyes. I know, that's the annoying thing. The sun goes in her eyes. So I'm going to have a moment for this picturesque view right here with the little. The water is glistening, the bridge, like... Well, <laughs> I'm getting that booty in shot, baby. It's, I'm just manifesting summer here, guys. Wow. The glistening water. I'm basically in the Maldives. Water. Yeah, I'm basically going to dive in hen, and have a swim. Going to go for a little coffee shop stop at Coffee Lab. Say beer. Best coffee shops. Oh, look at that. This is so cute. What? Yeah, that goes well. How aesthetic it is, guys, it makes me very happy. So, we are back from our walk. This is how the... He's coming along. Hello, you. So, I've got a few more to blow up to try and get that a little bit more full. And then... I'm going to attempt to hang it at the top of the curtain. <gasps> yeah! This is awesome! One, two, three, yay! Is that good? Oh, it looks good! I'm happy with that! Yay! You ready to see it, guys? Dun, 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 dun. I'm so happy with it! Look at it! It's so cute! Yay! Clapping! Woohoo! We did that! You're actually changed as well. By 4 p.m. today, we've gotten you into a cute outfit. <laughs> You're already trying to take off. Right, um, we're gonna go and collect Amber. Should we go get Amber? Yeah, let's go get Amber. She's going to the door. Okay, I'm ready, Mom. Let's go get Amber. <laughs> oh, bless her. Good evening, guys. It's a little bit later on now. We've done, I stayed at my mum's for about an hour earlier. Uh, with the girls which was really nice we just stayed in the garden and stuff then we came back had dinner had the chaotic dinner bath time bedtime yeah, um <laughs> it is torture um amber is so excited for her birthday i as i was like hyping her up for her birthday all day i was thinking all day like she's not gonna go to bed, she's not gonna go to bed because she'll be too excited yeah so I've just heard James singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, just yeah. trying to really, you know... Trying to calm her down. Just calm the vibes. We did a book. It's like Christmas we, Eve. A book, we've done books. Yeah. Um, we've laid a good foundation, but she's just there like, <laughs> is my she's birthday like, ready yet? Can I go look at my birthday now, please? <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> she's so excited and it makes me even more excited. Yeah, it's um, going to be lush. I'm really excited. Yeah, I can't wait. So, Karis... Um, one day decided to buy um, Zero Caffeine Coke Zero <gasps> and I was like, this isn't going to work out, Literally. this isn't going to taste good like, and honestly no. guys, it tastes the same if not better I think it actually than tastes the caffeinated better. and I, that means I can have a guilt free evening Coke Zero I'm actually going to have one as without, well without like overthinking whether it's going to keep me up and then we have a cup of tea that has caffeine in it yeah. <laughs> But we don't have double caffeine. No, Actually, I'm going to put the tea is on pause. Decaf no, tea isn't the one. it's horrible. Sorry. Sorry, I love like a icy... Are you trying to take my yeah, Coke pour Zero it in. now? Sorry? I want the... And it's not for me. Pour it in, I want it. Pour it in. <laughs> I just want the... Oh, yeah. That's nice. I can get out one of them as well, actually. You can have that one. I'll get oh. another one. All the things I do for you. I know, right? I'm gonna drink. Oh, I was to you. I was like, that just sounds so weird. You did. Oh my I was god. Like, the gonna... things I do to you. <laughs> um. So our plans for this evening are: I've got to. I think I've have done the, like all the blues and stuff. I've now. Oh. Just need to do the presents and all the prep. So, so like she's got her little set up ready for when she comes down. 
I've actually allocated myself about an hour of work to do tonight because I think with this week, just with Amber's birthday and the schedule being moved around a bit, it's just a bit more like things that I need to catch up on. We announced yesterday the jeans brand, which was like, I know we've, I, I've basically told like everyone that I was doing a jeans brand for a while, but um, we announced the name. Guys. Oh, we haven't even said the name on here. Oh my God, I always laugh because this is like classic Instagram announcement versus YouTube announcement. Instagram is like, I got a pic, I did the whole like countdown, then I did like, it's up, and then when that's went on here, I'm like, oh, I haven't told you what it is, it's Ambella. So that was a really exciting announcement. Yeah. But yeah, the jeans brand is called, for anyone that doesn't know, by the way, we're releasing a jeans brand. Long story short, I've always been super passionate about jeans. I've got a million jeans, I'm a jeans lover, but I've never found the perfect pair. Yeah. I know exactly how to create them. Um, and it's just such, I can't believe it is actually coming to life now. Um, we've been working on it for a long time and we have perfected our first product. Um, it was actually meant to launch in March, yes. but it got delayed due to the fact that I'm, we're just so, so, so keen. Bad, so yeah, the jeans are perfect. They, yeah, originally we were meant to launch in March, um, but we got delayed slightly. We went through a few more samples. I just wanted to make sure everything was perfect and, um, we're also doing this really cool fit day where we're like having so many different people with so many different body shapes and sizes from 6 to 26 to come down and try the jeans on and just get feedback and just oh, I'm just so excited guys I can't wait to hear everyone's feedback and just see how everyone feels about the jeans because the people that I have got to wear my sample so far which is friends and family have been like oh my god like my friend who's very fussy and very like to the point and would say like oh yeah they're, they're nice like oh they're very similar to my other jeans or this and that she was like these feel like leggings and no joke she's been texting me about them since she tried them on like oh, I literally can't wait for my pair of jeans to come like when are they come in <laughs> um so she, like I, that would literally blew me away um I'm so unbelievably excited anyway I'm gonna babble on about them because I could forever um but yeah it's We've got a basically a stretch mum jean that is launching with an adjustable waistband. There'll be so much more information coming. I'll obviously keep you guys updated with everything. We've got a long time till launch still. It's like June, I think it's launching. So we got like, oh, yeah, two months. It's either end of May, we're hoping for, or like early June. So it's like two months um, just to like fit on all different bodies and um, just make sure everything's perfected, ready for launch. Um, so... Yeah, we were actually originally meant to be doing a skinny jean, but I couldn't perfect them enough in time. Like, they just weren't standing out as anything. The samples, like, we tried so, so many, um, and they're just... You guys know how fussy I am, especially with jeans. I just... It was, wasn't worth launching for me. Like, they were beautiful. Don't get me wrong. They were stunning jeans, like, really, like, comfy, but, like, they needed to be, like, whoa, best jean ever. Like, I needed to be able to say that about them, and I just couldn't wholeheartedly say that. So, um, we've left the skinnies on pause for now. Um, and we're just launching a mum jean, um, which I'm really happy about because the mum jeans are literally <laughs> perfection. Um, so yes, what did I say? Oh yeah, I was allocating some time to do some work tonight because we've got bits and bobs that I need to catch up on. Then I'm going to build Amber's bits and bobs. And the other thing that I was going to tell you guys and update you on was really the kind of like cyst slash, en slash endometrio endometriosis stuff. Um, I've been having such bad health anxiety lately and I feel like it all stemmed from that when like, I went to have that scan and then found that cyst on my ovary and it feels like it might be explaining a lot more about my pains that I've always associated with having a weak pelvic floor but actually might just be all down to endometriosis. The guy at the time was basically diagnosing me with endometriosis but you can't actually be diagnosed with it until you've had the laroscopy or whatever it is when they look inside and basically see because you can't actually see endometriosis on a scan even though he diagnosed it as an endometriosal cyst if you get me um but basically uh, i've actually started writing down when my symptoms flare what they are and like when I work out and different things like that because I was starting to notice a bit of a pattern with say I would work out um I would work say I was working out on a Thursday it would then be all the way till the Tuesday and then I would get like a really bad flare-up of like on both sides of I, I don't know what it is I literally don't know and then I did the same thing the week after and it happened again and then I was fine most day yesterday I had like a bit of pain in the side and like my belly's just always generally very sensitive um, but it's kind of gotten worse lately and then in the evening 
I don't know what happened, but I was in like severe pain. I wouldn't call it severe, I'd say like mid, mid pain. Um, and I was, but I was like on the verge of kind of texting my mum and saying, because basically I've had these two episodes which now could be linked to this whole endometriosis thing in the past, which you guys know, will know about if you followed me for a while, but where I've ended up like waking up in the middle of the night and being like hospitalized. Basically last time I woke up like with so, in so much pain in my stomach slash side that I just passed out. Um, and then they kind of like couldn't figure out what it was. Like, was it a birth cyst? Who knows now looking back, it's like, mm, was it that? Because this is kind of very similar pains that I get just on a very kind of minor version of that. Um, so I kind of have this anxiety about the cyst popping or twisting and those things that are known to be like incredibly painful. Um, and lots of people like literally just like throw up, pass out, like it's just horrendous. So I've got so much anxiety around that at the moment. And then last night, the pain was really bad on both sides and I was like on the verge of like texting my mum saying like can you be on like like keep your phone on loud or something because if I need to go to the hospital randomly then obviously I'm thinking about the girls and I'm like I need to get my mum over here to look after the girls I don't want to wake them up put them in the car and then I just have to drive and pff, it just all these things go through your head as when you've got health anxiety but then also just everything on top of it um health anxiety literally sucks every time I mention it on my Instagram story so many people message so many people say that they feel the same and that it's so nice to hear other people talk about it because it feels really lonely and you feel really silly for having it and you feel just really anxious and it's just horrible it's really horrible like I've not actually had it like really at all much in the past and lately I've been having it all the time and it's just like last night I was lying in bed and I was like am I even in that much pain or am I like having an anxiety attack? Because I was basically getting more anxious and het up about worrying that I was going to have this cyst burst because the pain was there. And then I kind of know that if you have like a bad cyst burst or whatever, you get like a fever and you get really unwell. And I was like starting to like be shaky and I was like, oh my gosh, it's coming on. Like blah, blah, blah. And then I just had to like take a few deep breaths and like James was just talking to me and sorting me out. And I was like, actually I am just like having a bit of an anxiety moment like I'm probably making the symptoms a lot worse by that so I just need to calm down um so I had a little breather and calmed down and the pain actually went really quickly through the night which was good but yeah I just kind of at the moment I would say probably 50% of the time I'm in pain as in like maybe out of the seven days a week maybe like three and a half of them I'm like got pain in either side of my thing on my lower abdomen but I've had that for quite a while and like I said I just put it down to having a weak pelvic floor but maybe it's all explained by this or I don't really know but I've got another ultrasound scan because the cyst that they did find originally was too big to leave if you get me um so anyway I've got this another ultrasound scan coming up um so I'll just wait till then and see but like I said they can't actually see endometriosis sounds really confusing I've been reading up so much about it but they obviously can't see on a scan but they can see cysts but there can be lots of other things like just endometriosis existing or endometriosis scarring or something lots of stuff that can cause you pain and it can cause you so many different types of symptoms um and then I'm all like in a jumble about like my coil and I'm like I just want it out because I'm just like am I just messing things up with my hormones but then I'm on the coil so I'm not having periods so really like my endometriosis is endometriosis in general is meant to be like linked to periods and so that's weird that I'm having all these symptoms now that I'm not even having any periods but I am still having bleeding every now and then and guys I'm literally brain vomiting onto this vlog and it feels really great actually <laughs> thank you thank you for listening to me um I love I love YouTube and I love that like I can create such rambly content and literally just talk to you guys because I love Instagram don't get me wrong and I love all the social media platforms and I love the content and like creating it and stuff but YouTube's got just got a different vibe hasn't it I've literally just I would have had to I'm literally eight minutes I'm looking at the time eight minutes I would have had to post like 7,000 Instagram stories to get this ramble out into the world <laughs> And I would love to do that, don't get me wrong, but I think that wouldn't go down too well. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks guys for listening to my ramble, but that was basically all the bits I wanted to update you on. Oh, the other thing I wanted to update you on, wait, let me go and get it and show you. Okay, so eczema, onto the eczema stuff. If you have eczema or dry skin or anything like that, this is a hack for you. Um, it's really not that exciting, but um, 
it is in my head. So I, the thing is, I'm not actually like a fan of moisturizing that much in terms of like, I did moisture withdrawal like quite a few years ago now because I was at a point where I had to moisturize my full body like four times a day. Literally James had to like help me moisturize my full, full body because like I couldn't survive without moisturizer. Um, but I kind of did a moisture, moisture withdrawal like, I don't even remember how I did it now, but like I basically got to a point where I just had to moisturize now and then on my eczema bits. But anyway, I found that my cracked hands, you guys know I'm still on my steroids every now and then for these, the eczema on my hands because yeah, it looks good now, but that's because I'm on my steroid. Anyway, I'm trying to wean off my steroid like I have been for ages. Um, but I am very aware of TSW and I don't kind of want to withdraw too quickly. Otherwise, you know, I just don't want anything like that to happen. So I think being a steroid user my whole life, I kind of need to wean off slowly. Um, I have weaned off lots of different areas of my body so far. And I am pretty much just on steroid now on my hands. And I use Protopic and other bits. Anyway, I won't get into detail because I feel like it opens up a whole can of worms with everything online is like opinions everywhere um but I also like to share things because I think that they are helpful so I try and like decide what's best to share and what's not um but yes yeah, so basically with my hands and I found that also with my arms lately keeping them very moisturized is actually keeping my flare-ups at bay um so like you know what I'm talking like thick like emollient like epiderm hydromol those type of like very thick um ointment based creams and um, they're really really like they make you feel greasy af but they are great um especially for places like your hands and stuff which just literally you put a bit of moisturizer on and they're like dry two minutes later because they're such kind of like thick skin anyway i found the the emollients though like those type of creams they only come in massive tubs if you know you know they come like this they do come in smaller tubs and i do have my epiderm like smaller tub which is like that but still i'm not going to carry that around day to day with me but i found that moisturizing even like say two to three times a day when I'm at home, it just wasn't enough. I needed to reapply because the problem with my hands was I wash them all the time. I'm changing the girls, well, I'm changing Mabel's nappy. The girls' nappy is just Mabel now. I'm changing Mabel's nappy. I'm, you know, do, just washing my hands. I'm cleaning the kitchen, like everything. I wash my hands every five seconds and they're getting dry, dry, dry. So I wanna be applying the moisturizer all the time. Here it comes, guys. I had the genius idea of basically, I took a lip balm thing and I, took all the lip balm out so I rolled all the lip balm up scooped it all out dug into my big tub of moisturizer um literally dug shoved it got so messy guys dug shoved dug shoved like literally patting it all down and now I have I originally put it in the freezer then overnight because I thought it would like solidify it but to be honest the emollient like it warms in your hand and I keep this in my bra and it does like completely melt down but just out day to day I'll show you now so, hang on, let's get in focus. Here, right, are you ready, guys? Look at that. That is, I think, hydromol in this one, or epiderm. And that just goes, like a little, like a little balm. Just, just rub it on, rub it on. But like I said, look, it's very, very, very soft. So it is gonna literally do that. All I do is literally take a bit off. It just gives me the perfect little amount. There we go, swipe it down and put it back into my bra basically is where I keep it all day um but like I said it goes very um it basically turns to like water when I put it in my bra in there not water but you know like when the emollient melts um I think like Elemis cleanser in your hands that's the vibe we're going for here um and yeah even even that even when it's like completely melted you can still like turn it a bit and it comes to the top and you just get a tiny bit that you need to put on and I'll put it on my arms on my thing it's James letting me learn yeah, he's <laughs> um, So that is my genius hat, guys, and it's actually like my hands have healed so quickly since I've been doing that because I am literally applying it all the time. I'm very back and forth with these type of things because even though that works short term, I am very aware that like I don't know, your body can kind of like get addicted to the moisturizer and then like can't kind of live without it. I don't know. I'm literally back and forth with all these type of things, but. Um, at the moment it is working well so I'm going with it and we shall see the outcome um, anyway I've talked to you guys faces off I'm going to go and do that little bit of worky stuff now and then crack on with building <laughs> I just sent him in there to build um, 
Amber's dressing table. I was like, maybe you could crack on with the dressing table and then we'll wrap all the presents together. He was like, yeah, I'll just do a bit of con first and then I'll do the dressing table. He's not gonna open the dressing table, guys. I don't wanna do the dressing table either. I just know I'm gonna open the box. It's gonna come in 8,000 parts with 8,000 screws and I'm gonna be like, Oh, but I don't think it would explain what we're getting. Like, we've got this little dressing table for her and she's been, um, she really wanted, oh, I, I should show you what we've got, actually. Let me get it out. But she really basically wanted makeup because we do, like, our makeup together every morning. And I pretend to put my, like, brushes on her and all my bits and she absolutely loves it. She stands there like, do it again, mummy. Do it again. Um... So she's been asking me for makeup and like she's gonna, so then that was kind of gonna be her main present then to have like her own little dressing table in her bedroom with some makeup bits. Now she does know it's gonna be pretend makeup um, because she never actually wants me to put anything on her face. She just wants me to pretend with the brushes. So I was happy that she was happy to have pretend makeup because she will get to an age probably where she wants like real makeup. I mean, she has these real like lip balm things that she got from a magazine, like the colorful glittery ones. When I tell you that goes, all over her face and it is the stickiest consistency known to man she's like mummy let you let me do yours like that. it's stickier than e hydromol than your yeah, epiderm it's literally the stickiest 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 consistency ever anyway this guys i found this on tiktok shop i was absolutely buzzing my friend well i didn't find it on tiktok shop actually my friend um bought it for her daughter oh yeah just one sec and um, then she, when she heard that I wanted to get makeup, she was like, oh, I'll send you the link and you can get it off TikTok shop. I was absolutely buzzing. It looks so realistic, guys. Look at the stuff. This is paper. Like this is literally all made out of paper. I feel like she's gonna see it and be disappointed that it's not real because literally it looks real. Like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. Little lipsticks. Fake, everything's fake, little spray bottles, little blush. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed, guys. Oh little mascara one stop. Oh my god. Little um oh what are these? Little oh, new product. I haven't even got one of these. Go on, Amber. Ooh, check that out, guys. Just just glittery paper. No mess. Absolutely oh look is in the shape of her lips. <laughs> to sponge onto her lips. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. So yeah, she's gonna absolutely love this. I'm gonna powder puff, love to see it. So we're gonna build a dresser table and then she's got this, so she's so excited. So you know what she's like, she's very, um, she was like it with Christmas. She knows what she wants and she sticks with it and she does not wobble on like the three things, like it was like this with, at Christmas time. I was convinced that she was like, she kept saying three things that she wanted and then I was convinced she was gonna change it or like whatever last minute. No, same three things every time. Birthday comes around, like says three things. That was like beginning of the year. Still the same three things. So she's very good, easy with the list at the moment, guys. Um, what was it this year? It was the makeup, pretend makeup. Um, oh, what was it? Toolbox. Bubbles. Pretend makeup, toolbox, and bubbles. What a cutie. Guys, for anyone that's been watching our channel for a while, <laughs> knows about James's <laughs> struggle with fancy dress and all that. It's a, no it's a no from James, guys. She's gonna love it. She's gonna be obsessed. I can't wait to show her that tomorrow. It's even got She's obsessed. Yeah, yeah. Is she gonna clip it in like that to her hair? Or is she gonna love life? Cause she makes me put her hair in a little plait. Oh, every day now on the side. Um, so she's got her ass up back. Oh no guys, I'm in love. She's gonna love it so much. Okay. And then, so this is the dressing table we've got to build. And then, like I said, she loved the tool kit that she saw at one of her friend's house with an electric screwdriver. So I wanna make sure I got the batteries in here. Um, so that she can use the tool, the screwdriver thing straight away. Um, oh my god, I'm panicking. Is that even got a screwdriver thing in it? I think that is it. Yeah, tool, electric drill. 
Thank goodness. I was like, I, I know I'm not good. Sometimes I do my research, but that was the only one thing she wanted. So we're watching How I Met Your Mother, which is our guilty pleasure. James is putting together the dresser, and I have just put together. Look, oh guys! That is just seriously so satisfying. I can help you now. <laughs> you can do it all for me. Perfect. Look how cute that is. That is, guys. A little birthday setup. I'm just gonna drape some paper over this now, yeah. just so she can go. Woo. Just, like, stick a bow on it. Oh, I could do actually. So she just comes straight down and see it, and then that's the little makeup bag that goes with it. I could leave that like that on there. Oh, that's so Hi. lovely. Oh, she's gonna love it, isn't she? My back is an agony. <laughs> I'm sitting on the floor doing that now. James is in pieces. Awful. And I met my pajama bottoms. <laughs> Not the best. We don't want to see that, love. No, you don't. <laughs> oh. My legs crossed now. <laughs> uh, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're going to love you and leave you. We're absolutely exhausted oh, and we're heading to bed. Every night I'm zonked, love. Lady. I know. No we're just what? tired 24 7, yeah. my love. Um, we will see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Love you lots, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>